Hey, what is up guys? It is CD Collector Mania coming at you live once again with the fifth part to my CD collection as well as a pickup video. I visited FYE today in my neighborhood. Shout out to FYE. Guys, make sure you support your local record stores or physical music slash DVD stores so that they do not go out of business because if they do go out of business, you will, we will not be able to buy CDs anymore because they will not be produced because there will be no demand for them. So make sure you guys always support your local record stores if you can. Um, FYE is the only chain store that sells physicals in my neighborhood. So I support them regularly. Shout out to them. They always have the new releases. But um, I picked up the documentary by the gang as well as the documentary 2.5 which as a collector the presentation on these discs are top notch I can tell already the detail is insane with the sorry guys keep sliding there we go with the red paisley on the documentary 2 and the blue paisley on the documentary 2.5 I guess symbolizing the bloods and the crips um, so I'm excited for that. So um, I haven't opened them up. I just took the shrimp, the sh excuse me, the shrink wrap off of them. So my reaction is going to be the same reaction that you guys are going to have. So I'm going to get into the documentary too by the game. It's the front cover. It's the track list. Back covers. Wow, game is independent. I didn't know that. E1. That's not a major label. He has a distribution deal, but I think he's independent. That's impressive. Alright. Now, let's get into it. Wow. That is a beautiful disc. Man. I'm excited for the documentary 2.5 because Blue Paisley is just the illest. Wow, that's that's sick. Very sick. <laughs> Game keeping it uh keeping it hood with the pants tag. You're a little too old to be doing that, homie, but it's all right. Do your thing. Do your thing. That's dope. I got a comment saying that. You like when I open up the book inserts, but it's hard to do with one hand, but I'll, uh, I'll manage it this time. Game. Looking real buff for no type of reason. <laughs> this dude's holding the AK, he's wild. Squad. <laughs> Pretty dope pretty dope so that's the documentary 2 with the red disc now getting into the documentary 2.5 blue paisley I'm, I'm so excited because I think I know what this means already back cover track listing Wow, the detail, excuse my fingers, guys. The detailing is, like, superb, man. Like, the <coughs> track titles on the documentary, too, were highlighted in red, and these are blue. I think that's really dope from a collector's uh, perspective. All right. Wow. Yeah, that's dope. That is dope as hell. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> Gay Red Chuck, Low Rider. There's the disc. Wow. Very dope. Very, very dope. So I see Game is a sneakerhead. He has J's on J's. Gated Windows, Pistol, Red Chuck. actually challenging to do with one hand, huh? Interesting. Alright. 
looking out that window. Dope. Very dope, man. So shout out to the game. It's very good presentation, homie. Very good album. Did you think? So those are the new pickups. Excuse my dance finger. Those are the new pickups for this video. I'm going to get back into the <coughs> and excuse me if I keep stopping randomly. My throat is really sore. I've been sick for so long, man. Um <coughs> whatever. Getting back into the collection. We left off with Thank You Later, which was Drake's weakest release. Now we're going to pick it back up with arguably his strongest release. Take care. Now I say arguably because I actually believe that Take Care, nothing was the same. And if you're reading this, it's too late. Um, I want to say they're tied in a three-way for first place. Um, with So Far Gone in second place. Um... Because, man, I, I really can't see, like, I, I can't see where I would put one album a point higher, a point lower, half a point higher, half a point lower. Um, it's just, they're all really good. Like, the quality um, is really good. Over My Dead Body is my favorite Drake, Drake song, period. Um, you know, like, that piano instrumental the sampled singer who has that angelic voice you know uh underground kings cameras good ones go interlude look what you've done the real her lord knows <sighs> cruel love this is just like this is the album where drake nailed his sound so far gone, he established his sound. Um, thank you later, he he knew he had to shift his sound because if there's no progression, there's stagnation, and stagnation is regression. Um, you never want to stay still for too long. So I know he was aware that he had to change his sound up on thank you later, but you know he took a couple swings and he had a couple misses. But this album is where he really really um perfected it in my opinion um yeah pretty pretty straightforward artwork and presentation man um i can't say enough about this this to me cemented drake as my favorite rapper of this era so take care I i'll give it a eight and a half out of ten Nothing was the same. Man, um, you know, I think objectively, if you look at Take Care and Nothing Was the Same, I think that they're the same in quality. But I'm inclined to say that I think that this is my personal favorite body of work that Drake has put out. Um, Tuscan Leather, he dropped some of the hottest bars of his entire career. I mean, just the the first switch up, you know, it has like that heat makers dip that kind of beat, you know, and it's just, it, it's fire, man. Um, I, I really love how he clearly, he stepped up his rapping, you know, because Okay, the first track on Over My Dead Body, you know, Drake has this pattern of making extremely strong opening and closing tracks on every single album. On, on, um, Thank You Later, it was Fireworks and Thank You Now. On Take Care, it was Over My Dead Body and it was The Ride. On this, it was Tuscan Leather and, well, this is the deluxe, but it was Tuscan Leather and Pound Cake, Paris Morton Music too. And it's just like on every single intro, he steps up his rapping considerably. 
to go from fireworks to over my dead body, and then over my dead body to Tuscan Leather. It's just you can tell Drake watches battle rap because that A B, I got your C D, you get an E for effort. That's a straight Charlie Clip scheme. Shout out to Charlie Clip. Um, but yeah, man, he his rapping on that was phenomenal. Forty is just forty is one of the greatest producers of all time. I'll say that now. He's gonna go down in history. He he's a mastermind. Um, he is 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 like without forty, Drake would not be. You know, um, Tuscan Leather. Further skin, the the first half is like that skinny, smooth Drake that we've all come to love. That second half is just that Drake talking his shit. You know, like you can't ask for anything more. Um, worst behavior is like ignorant Drizzy. Connect is, and I think it's like his second best singing song behind Jungle. You know, like. One line that always stuck out to me, you know, with, um, on Connect is where he said, um, and when it falls apart, I'm always still down to pick a million tiny little pieces off the ground. I was, you would learn to love people and use things and not the other way around. And, and it's simple. It's not that lyrical, but I just, I love that. Like, I just love how Drake has this way of saying so little, but so much at the same time, you know, I, I love that, 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 that's just perfect, the language, Drake is sending his little subliminal shots, I love when Drake sends his little subliminals, I think we all love back to back, this is the first time Drake's really been really direct, but, man, Drake kills it when he's on his subliminal stuff, man, like, the shit remix, he's going at Kendrick, the language, he's going at Kendrick, say Steamy, he's going at Common, like, people don't give Drake enough credit. Drake really does have some scathing bars, man. And then, Pound Cake, Paris More Music too. Like, that Pound Cake beat is phenomenal. But Paris More Music too is my favorite. He has, like, almost, I want to say, a spoken word kind of flow on the track. Which is, uh, is dope. So that's the front art. Yeah, Drake with th with this black, um, one of my complaints as a collector was I hated how bland Drake's album covers and things were. He switched it up on this, though. This is If You're Reading This, It's Too Late, um, which was actually, I don't know why it's not focusing, but whatever. The front cover was actually a poster. And this album... Energy, incredible. 40 was barely on this project, actually. Um, but Jungle is like his best singing song. Like, it, it just sounds like a straight R&B. Like, it sounds like a top-tier, strict R&B singer wrote and sung that song. And Drake absolutely showed out. How About Now is excellent. No Telling, excellent. Used To, that second verse. Um, uh, way more gully gully than buddy buddy. Excellent. I just, I, I love this. This is, this is perfect. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. And I'll come back at you with another part. See you guys later.